holding on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor Channel. We're doing a taste test tonight and it promises to be something good and all that is right in the world. Yes! Put out by Vape Dogs. It's called Buckaroo! 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 Uh, it's a tropical mix of berries and uh, that symbolizes all that is good and right in the world for me because I love fruit. Tropical fruit with berries? Oh, yes! Yes! Alright, so I was really happy to get my hands on this bottle here so I could go ahead and do this little review. Uh, this here, uh, before I uh, get going through the rest of the video, it is a Max VG and it's 6 milligrams of nicotine by volume. Um, it's a colorful, nice label on there. Of course, it's got all your new regulations and all that stuff that are mandated to be put on the bottle it's all there including I guess I can't get it up there right there we go well you can't see it there batch number um, so let's get into this shall we I will be putting it on my one of my many Tesla threes I've got the uh, tank as a uh, TFV4 and that is with the RBA head on there yes I put a little bit in there so that the uh, wick would be good and soaked and absorbing and so it should be that time so let's go ahead and do this shall we yes all right i love the bottle too man it is just on point with the color it's eye popping and hopefully it's going to be taste bud stop and thrillness yes all right i know it's late at night and i've already had my meds so but, uh, yeah, it's one of them nights. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, uh, see, I can't even open things right. Man. All right. Let's get to filling. And um, I can tell you right now that uh, the smell is great. I can smell it wafting off this bottle. And the color, it's really, uh, yes, it's stylized glass. But when you pull this up into the tincture, let's see if I can get it up in here. One of the good hallmarks, see that ultra clear? It, it's, um, you could tell that this was really created nicely in a lab. There's no impurities in there. Yes, I check for all that. Um, especially being somebody that comes from the culinary field, I really do look for stuff like that because whenever you see those kind of things, uh, that's just one more thing that can gum up wicks, burn out coils, but more importantly, uh, some e-juices, this is just a little lesson for you, uh, when, they're not, when they're not scrubbed like that for impurities, uh, you could even have allergy reactions. Now, yes, there's the traditional PG stuff. Uh, I, I don't, as long as something's like a 50-50 or better on the, on the VG side, I'm good. I'm not that oversensitive, but it does happen. So, all right. I, like I said, I've had it in here soaking. All right, all right, all right. All right. Because I had it soaking in advance, then there was no need for me to do the whole, uh, you know, inhale a couple times to pull the juice through. So I'm looking to get right into this. Um, again, I want to show that that advertising on the bottle, though. See that? It's uh, you can see it better in color over here. It, it's just a well-designed, eye-catching label that's on there I, I i can't say that enough especially when you are selling a lot online then you know uh good advertisement uh, something that catches the eye is great so what we do here in this video doing a review is to convey what our senses pick up and the taste of it so that potential buyers like me i was a buyer long before i ever did reviewing and stuff so that's what these are about so 
without further ado, so that we can quit rambling and get to tasting, I get it. Mmm. Okay, so, normally, when you think of like, uh, tropical as far as, uh, well, berries are a little different, um, but sometimes when people label things as tropical, they can be a little bit too harsh on the whole fruit blend that just kind of sours you out, and I don't mean like literally sours you, I mean, but it, it controls all the other senses so that you're not getting the full boldness and everything of the flavor. This is not doing that. And so, it's consistent, it's nice. I'm trying to let it roll back to the back of my thro uh, throat, the palate, to see if maybe any of that flavor is going to change and not be as consistent. Man, this is smooth but good. It's not overpowering on the fruit side, and I, I tend to like that. Man, I've said this on one or two of my videos, but you could literally like, this could be like a daiquiri or something, literally, and I would, if I didn't have diabetes and I could drink again, but I don't, I can't, I mean. But luckily for you, this is vape juice and not an alcoholic drink, but it could be. Ah, oh, it's good. Um, it's really good. It's really good. Wow, it is absolutely consistent. This is really good. Um, again, my bottle has six milligrams of nicotine by volume. This is a Max VG blend, vegetable glycerin blend. Um, it's a tropical blend of berries, and that's just all perfect and good for me. Um, I'm going to put the link down below to where I got it along with the product description. Um, but you don't even need all that because I'm just telling you right now it's good. It's really good. It is. I, I have not been disappointed yet with the flavors, um, that I've gotten off of this line from the Vape Dogs, and it is just really good. This is a nice way to kind of end the evening, but then again, I would say this. I could also see this being an all-day vape flavor, and that's... Whenever you have flavors like that, that's what you're looking for, at least for me. Can it stand up to an all-day vape? If it can't meet that for me, whether or not I personally choose to just vape something uh, at the evening time level or not really comes down personally for me. Nicotine. Uh, yeah, I, I smoked for over 20 plus years and I'm tobacco free for five and a half years. I do use small amounts of nicotine in the daytime. But at night, I tend not to use the nicotine uh, just so that because I have sleeping issues and all that. And uh, But that doesn't take away from the, the flavor for me. I could see, whether it's nicotine or not nicotine, I could see myself on this flavor all day long. No problem at all. This is really, really good. And I do mean that. It's really good. It's... Um, I'm going to even probably try this in one of my manufactured coils. Um, if it's tasting this good now, just... And again, I'm using the RBA uh, edition on my TFV4 by Schmoke. Um, yeah, let's take another one of these and uh, let's get on out of here. I don't, I don't think I need to say anything else. Again, other than if, if you like my videos, uh, please like, subscribe to my channel. If there's something else you want to see me review, by all means, put it in the, the compliment. If you have any information that you want to add to what I, I didn't list on here for you, do that too. I'm easy to get a hold of. I enjoy interactive, being interactive with other people. Um, like I, I say in some of my videos, I'm just a normal guy doing reviews on something I have a passion about. That's it. Um, so let's get on out of here. This is good. Go out and get it. I'm going to put those links and everything down below, okay? Mmm. 
That was wimpy. That was wimpy too. Alright, I'm just being silly. Good night. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.